Hello all Iron Knights participants. Uh, this tutorial is to help you navigate through the Run Sign Up page. Um, I am assuming at this point that you've already registered, so we want to learn how to create an account and get back into our account to make any adjustments and changes necessary. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is create an account. So you're going to navigate through to this page and fill out all of this information. Remember, this account is for you to fill out, so you want to fill out all of this information as the parent or guardian of the children that you just registered. Once you are finished, then you're going to click the Register button. After that takes place, then you will get an email address to verify your account, which you're going to need to go into your email and uh, verify. After you have done that, then you're going to come back to run sign up and you are going to now sign in using the email address and the password that you created. You really want to make sure that the email address that you are using is the same email address that you used to register your child for the Iron Knights Triathlon. After you have signed back in, you will be brought back to the main page for Run Sign Up. Up here in the corner is the drop down for your profile. So we want to go up here and click Profile. Now, once we get to this point, the, the program is going to recognize the email address that you used for your account as the same one that you use to sign up your child for the triathlon and it will ask you it will ask you to claim the email address that you just signed up with so that it can connect it to the registration that you sent in for your child so you're going to click um, claim address and then it will send you an email to verify your account. So then you're going to go into your email and verify your account by clicking the button. Once that happens, then you'll come back and you'll be at this page and then down at the bottom, it will, it will tell you that there is an account that you need to claim for your child. So you're going to wanna go ahead and click the claim account. And then once you have claimed the account for you, then you will be brought back to this page and this is all of your information. Now the information that is up here is yours. As the parent or guardian, you have created an account for Run Sign Up for this website. All of your registrations will appear down here where which should list all of the children that you registered if you register just one child then you'll have the button here if you have more then all of them will be listed here so to access all of the information for the child that you're wishing to update information for you just simply click the button then as you scroll down you will see that the upcoming events for this child is the north penn iron knights triathlon and this is where you'll be able to access all of the information. So here are your menu items over on this side, and we wanna go ahead and click Manage Registration. Now, once we've clicked Manage Registration, we will be brought to our page that has all the information listed for the child that we registered for the triathlon. Down at the bottom, you will have all kinds of different choices that you can select in order to update any of the information that you want. Now let's say for example, we wanna update our swimming information. Okay, either up here at the top or down here at the bottom, swimming is included as an add-on. So what we wanna do is go ahead and click the add-ons button that is either up top or down the bottom. Now for here, this is going to list all of the swimming practices that you have either registered for or would like to register for. So as of now, this person that I registered isn't 
isn't assigned to any of the swimming practices for now. If you are assigned to a swimming practice and you signed up for that during the registration process, then this will be highlighted at the time that you um, chose for your registration. If you wish to deselect, then you just go ahead and simply click the button. It will deselect it for you. And now what you need to do is once you're finished selecting or deselecting, you come down to the bottom of the page and you hit continue. Once you hit continue, it's going to bring you to this page. These aren't, these are not, um, we don't charge anything for our swimming practices, so there should not be a fee here. And then you're going to come click confirm changes. And then once you come here, it will list them all in this summary of your registration. So that is how you select or deselect your swimming preferences for the future and for the remaining swimming practices that we have. Now there are other there is other information down here too if you wish to change okay your registration, the t-shirt size if you think you put in a t-shirt that you would like to change you can click on that and change that at any time. Any of the information that you put for the child that you registered or it will bring you back to the home screen. So at the home screen here, this is the main screen that you use to sign up for the triathlon. Um, up here as well, there is event information. We've already signed up, so we don't need that. If you wish to volunteer for our event, this is where you would click to sign up for that. There are a lot of volunteer positions that we need still filled. So if you are capable of volunteering, we would appreciate if you come on here and select a time to volunteer. And there's some more as well. To get back to your profile, you come up here where the icon is, you click profile, and that will take you back to the screen that you were in. So anytime you wish to um, revisit your registration, you'll come here, you will sign in as the parent, and then for any of the registrations you wish to switch, you simply click the button here and get to the manage registration. Okay, I hope this helps to clear up some confusion. Yes, I, I know that this is the first time we're using this site, so um, we, we appreciate your patience. Hope this helps, and if you have any further questions, feel free to go ahead and email us, and we'll do the best that we can to help you out. Thank you, and have a great day.